Hello, my name's Sarah Knight and I'm a clinical scientist at the London Spinal Cord Injury Centre at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, London. I'd like to thank the International Continent Society for allowing us to present our work on, or on our experience of Myra Begron in neurogenic lower urinary tract dysfunction following spinal cord injury. And I'm presenting this on behalf of my co-authors, Claire Riley, Yogit Wah, Frank Lee and Rizwan Han. We do not have anything to disclose. Spinal cord injury can cause disruption to the pathways between the brain, the bladder and the sphincters and can result to neurogenic lower urinary tract dysfunction, also called NLUTD, and this can include neurogenic detrusor overactivity, or NDO. If NDO is not controlled, it can cause damage to the upper tracts, incontinence and decrease quality of life. The first line treatment for NDO includes anti-muscarinic or anticholinergic medication like oxybutynin. However, this can have side effects including dry mouth, constipation, and some patients stop it due to this. It's also contraindicated in patients with glaucoma and has more recently been implicated with the development of dementia. Recently, Myra Begron, a beta-3 agonist, has become available for the treatment of no, ne neurogenic lower urinary tract dysfunction. This works in a different way to the um, anticholinergic medication by working with the sympathetic nervous system. We have reviewed the outcomes of our patients who have been prescribed Myra Begron to treat their NDO. The aim of the study was to carry out a retrospective review of the patients in our centre who have received Myra Begron for treatment of NDO. We looked at the patient reported side effects and whether patients had continued with the drug. And we also looked at the urodynamic reports and measured the parameters before and after initiation of treatment with Myra Begron. Looking through the records, we found 92 patients who had been prescribed Myra Begron to control their neurogenic lower urinary tract dysfunction. The average age of the patients was 51 years with a range of 23 to 82. The pie chart shows the range of different bladder managements that the patients were using. 24 of the patients were found to have undergone urodynamics before and after treatment with Myra Begron, and this enabled us to compare the maximum systemetric capacity and the maximum detrusor pressure with and without Myra Begron. The patients were divided into three groups. Group one with six patients had had no previous treatment. Group two with 10 patients, the Myra Begron replaced their previous treatment. And group three with eight patients, Myra Begron was given in addition to their previous treatments. Our results are shown in the graphs on this slide. The graph on the left shows the maximum systemetric capacity in millilitres and the graph on the right shows the maximum detrusor pressure in centimetres of water recorded from their urodynamic traces. The two bars for each of the three groups represent the parameters before and after treatment with Myra Begron. So we can see from the graph that the, the only statistically significant result we have was that in group two, the patients who replaced their previous treatment with Myra Begron demonstrated a reduced bladder capacity on urodynamics when they were taking Myra Begron compared to their normal treatment. There was no other statistically significant results, although we do have small numbers of patients in each group, but there did seem to be a trend towards increased bladder capacity for the patients who added Myra Begron to their existing treatment. There were no significant changes in the maximum detrusor pressure. Nine of the patients stopped taking Myra Begron as they felt it was ineffective. Four could not tolerate the side effects of Myra Begron and one had to stop because it was contraindicated due to the development of high blood pressure. Our urodynamic results showed there was a decrease in bladder capacity in the patients who replaced their original treatment with Myra Begron. And the urodynamics results also showed that Myra Begron may offer, may offer additional benefits when used in combination with other treatments to treat NLUTD following spinal cord injury. And this seems to be in agreement with previous studies which have shown that combination therapies may be most effective in this patient group. <laughs>